Hello and welcome to Ula Tea Leaf Readings. My name is Lenore and tonight I'm going to be reading your tea leaves. This is a horoscope for Taurus. If Taurus is your solar, lunar, ascendant slash rising sign, then this is a message for you. All right, let's get started. And so we have the Hierophant tonight, Taurus, which is basically the equivalent of what a high priest would be. Okay. Not all of us know what a dang Hierophant is. <laughs> uh, and so let's go ahead and check this out. Let's see what's going on up here. And if you would like to like, comment, or subscribe, would love for you to do so. Uh, it's free to subscribe, and also I read all of the comments, so I would love, love, love to hear from you. Okay, let's see. We have over here, it looks like a dandelion ball thing, the little seed pod things that they're like little white puffy balls and you blow on them, and then they disperse everywhere and get all over the lawn, and you make a wish, right? That's what they're for. They're for making wishes and for spreading dandelions, <laughs> which listen, I love dandelions. I, um, as I have talked about in my readings before, I'm trying to convert our lawn into something else, like maybe cloves and some dandelions and other naturally occurring or, um, what's the word? Indigenous plants native plants. Um, so I love it. Spread them everywhere. But I see a person looking up here. Okay. And to me, what that says is there's somebody who is really, yeah, praying for their wish, their need to be granted, right? For them to receive this blessing. And I don't believe that this is necessarily you. Okay. But I feel like this is maybe somebody in your life that you have quite an emotional attachment to. Now, on the incline of the bowl here, this is kind of reserved for emotional, psychic connections or things that are kind of happening in your emotional, psychic world. So I think that having this person on this incline over here, I feel like you are really uh, connected to them, very much so. Now, in, in the middle of the figure here of the person, it looks like we have a bird who is in a nest or maybe kind of perched, okay? And let's see if we can kind of see that. Uh, you can see it is right here, and this would be the wing. Okay, so I feel like if you can think of this person or think of all the people that you know, right, who reminds you or who who comes up when you start thinking about like a hawk, a hawk, maybe an eagle, one of these high flying raptor type birds. Okay, uh, they are very They're very airy, like the sword, right? The sword is related to the air element. Uh, and so that means this is a person who is highly intelligent. This is a person that is well-spoken. They're creative, but they're also really rational, okay? Um, they are... How can I say this? Uh, it feels like they are going through something, maybe suffering, and they're doing it in silence. I don't think you even know what's going on with them yet. Um, I believe that they're still in this place where they're trying to find a way to kind of uh, mitigate some of the, um, the difficulties I also think that they're trying to figure out how to get their life in such a way that will support their journey forward. If this is like a medical issue, maybe they're getting their treatment stuff like it's all set up and planned out. Um, maybe it's that they just, you know, they, they're 
if they say it out loud, if they start telling their friends and family about what's going on, then it makes it too real. Okay. Um, but it could be other things, financial, uh, relationships. It could be loneliness, right? Um, a lot of different things that might be going on here. Um, but I do think that, and this is why this is coming up for you. We have a person over here. Okay. And you can see the head is right here. You can see the body. Okay. Uh, and holding it looks like a horn. Okay. Like a animal's horn. Uh, and then over here, it looks like, uh, maybe like, I don't know if I'm allowed to say it on the, for the algorithm. Um, T dot N dot T dot, right? If you don't, if you know what that is, um, it's something they use to, uh, like disintegrate rocks, right? If they're doing construction or, um, maybe like a tree stump or whatever it goes. I don't know if I may be allowed to say it goes boom, <laughs> you know? Um, so kind of like, or you could think like, oh, like when they say somebody, oh, somebody's like a firecracker. Okay. That's similar, right? Um, on the head here we have, it looks like a mushroom. I have to say it looks like a mushroom. So you have a very earthy energy. You're very down to earth, but you're also like, where you could think of this other person as being high flying. They're way up in the beautiful blue sky, soaring. They have such a perspective of everything. You are very earthy and very connected to the interior. You can go into self. You have visions. You have dreams. You are uh, psychic in a way that you can feel other people. You're an empath, right? But you also, I think... And I, and I, I believe that you get confused here and maybe even think, oh, I'm just like imagining stuff about people or I like, you feel like somebody said something to you or they told you about something. And then when you bring it up and they're like, I didn't say that to you, but that's weird because I was thinking that or whatever. You're really good at looking at people's interior. You can see their memories. You can remember their memories. And I think sometimes it feels like, like, am I just, do I have a wild imagination? Because I don't know anything about this. I just met somebody and all of a sudden I'm like, I have all these like things in my head and, you know, maybe you're even seeing stuff like about their like grandmother's childhood, like things they wouldn't even know about. Right. But you get all of these like clips imagery and that's I think it's very visual for you okay um now the horn is an opening it opens a ceremony right if you've ever been to um like a like a like Jewish temple you go you know Friday nights or whatever and um they sound the horn and I forget what it's called. I know that you guys have told me before. If you know what it is, tell me in the comments, right? Um, and it, it, and it's used, the horn is used in other kinds of rituals as well in different religions and magical work, a lot of magical work. Uh, but what it is, is it's something that, um, it declares the beginning. Okay. Sometimes the end as well, but I see you as being somebody who is going to really facilitate uh, some kind of change for this person, some kind of healing. It feels like a healing energy. Like it feels like, I don't know if you are an energy healer or if you are maybe like a spiritual advisor or you're a good friend that can like sit and talk and listen and and through those conversations, you help people kind of get through some of the stuff, have different perspectives. Whatever it is, I feel like you will be working in connection to each other. Okay. Now up here, 
I feel like this is the destruction of blockages, okay? I feel like you are going to be here to help them really get through some stuff. And while they are processing through their things, you are also working through some of your old things as well. I have found, especially through doing readings and um, and I and I also do, um, you know, just some kind of intuitive guidance with people, uh, communing with one another, you know, really. And uh, I find that, you know, their their sessions, their readings, help me tremendously, right? Because I'm going into. Um, other people's rooms in their head in their interior mansion and I am experiencing things that don't necessarily directly re relate to my experience but I'm able to feel and pick up on things that are outside of my realm of understanding sometimes and it really can be internalized to help me on my own path and so I feel like you're really in this place. And I do see you as being really kind of this hierophant. You have this hierophant energy. Um, where is the high priestess is with, like more intuitive, right? This is like a very feminine, intuitive, growing, creating, you know, this kind of... Um, well, I always think of her as kind of being not just an earth mama, but just, yeah, like a real, um, like the flow of that creative energy uh, is met there. Now, with the Hierophant, this is way more about tradition and, and systems of um, belief and worship and, and tenets and virtues and, you know, all these kinds of things. And ceremony and, and ritual and devotion and all of that. And so I feel like you're probably more, a more formal practitioner. Okay. Um, and we can see, you know, Taurus very represented in this card. So it makes sense. Um, I would say that if I had a guru or somebody who was initiating me, I, oops, I would not be hesitant if I knew that they were a Taurus. And, and um, I, I can't really tell you exactly why besides the Taurus people of my life, um, and I was married to one, um, my first husband who passed away, uh, have this ability for leadership, but also for revealing, like bringing you into other worlds, bringing you into new ways of thinking, um, revealing mysteries, right? Um, yeah, I definitely, I could see you, I could see it. It all makes sense. <laughs> so um, I see you really, and listen, we also have the, uh, we have the head right here too. You can see it, it's all coming together. It's all coming together. You can see they they sometimes like to um, reiter reiterate themselves. Let us know we're on the right path here. Okay, so let's take a look over here. We're just gonna And that mushroom on top, and I didn't want to say this because, listen, I'm in recovery. I'm not, I don't judge what people do. And obviously I'm in recovery, so I've done some things, been some places, right? Um, the mushroom on top of the head and the re and the revealing. And, I, and just talking about this, I, I almost feel like if you were going to partake in plant medicine and you were going to have somebody guide you, I would want it to be a spiritual Taurus person because you all are so good at, well, you're very creative, but you're really, the thing is you're really good at a 
aesthetics and creating an atmosphere and bringing somebody into it to make it very alive. Okay, so if you were going to be an artist, Taurus, you'd be like an installation, mixed media, immersive theater type of artist, right? And so I could see you being a really good guide for somebody who was partaking in plant medicine. And I didn't want to say that, but listen, I have to say it because I saw it. And I'm no way endorsing anything. I'm not, I'm also not condemning, okay? Um, we have a fox. We have a cat. We have an old cat, whisker, little whiskers here. Um, This is a weird one, but it really came through pretty, pretty um, strong. There is an older woman who is kind of meddlesome and she's either kind of a cat lady or she reminds you of a cat lady or she looks like a cat or something. That's the older cat. Um, there's also somebody, the fox, and there's somebody who is a little sly maybe kind of a con artist, maybe a scammer, or just not to be trusted, but they're charming, they're slick. And I feel like this is, the older lady is somebody who maybe you thought that like would look out for you. And I'm thinking this is like a neighbor or somebody in your community. And kind of coming to the realization that they maybe aren't working together with this other person, but they're turning a blind eye intentionally, right? They know something's going on and, uh, and maybe they're even giving them info about people or whatever, but I would be careful. Okay, because the, neither of them have any good intentions ultimately. Now, the cat lady person, I feel like is just kind of bored with life maybe. She just, I don't know, she's like like a true heiress, just likes to cause chaos or whatever. Um, watch it, and uh, you know, kind of go, just see what happens. Um, but the other person feels like, somebody tricky there this is a tricky person um so be wary of that i'm grabbing the wrong thing now we're gonna do our lucky numbers i'm gonna pick three of them 44 44 all right 44 i four okay 44 four 69. So you have 44469. Four, <laughs> Those are your lucky numbers. Okay, let's just do um, our inner child oracle cards. These are going to punctuate the reading. I'm going to flip through. I'm going to stop where it feels right. 36. Today is the day. It is time to begin the journey. It is time to begin the journey. All right. I would like to take a nap first, so can I take a nap first? Okay, Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. I wanna tell you I love you because I do and I thank you so much for spending this time with me. It is always such an honor to be able to bring these messages to you. And if you would be so kind as to like the video, it really does help the channel. And if you have not subscribed yet, please think about doing that. You can hit that little bell. It'll let you know when the next readings are coming out. It is free to subscribe. And uh, if you'd like to leave a comment, go ahead and do that. I read them all. Absolutely. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay, Taurus, I love you. Take care of yourself. We're going to talk in a few days. Good night, good night, good night.